Hey, this is Season of Talks and Baits, and uh, I'm going to talk about my rats and any rats that you have and you can apply. Um, so for first off, this is my micro bait. It's about five and a half inches. My rats are pretty much made to crank down. Um, you can really slow wake them. That's the way I've got my biggest bites. That's why they like that. Um, but rats in general, if you want to wake it, cool, because there's giants caught waking rats. This is just the way I prefer to fish them, and it seems to be outside of the box. So, in general, I'll throw these all year. Um, in the wintertime, usually only on a sunny day. If I notice a lot of stuff's active, especially coming in in January, February, or, and mostly around docks um, and where people are. If the, it, a sunny day, heat up the dock, wood, pylons, rock, near a marina, something like that. I'm definitely going to pick this up two in the afternoon. Especially in marinas in the, in the wintertime. I really like to throw these rats. They'll come out and trigger them. They're very natural bait. So into the spring, I don't think there's a better bait to get big bites. I'll throw this and I'll throw my big rat, which I don't have any right now because I uh, sold them all. I, don't, I didn't pour any. But it's a larger rat. I'm sure it's comparable to any larger rat. You have the clay bait, Mizuma. Uh, Rago makes every size of rat. He even has that new giant one, which is awesome. Um, and... Uh, when you come into spring, I don't think there's a better bait for big bites. Hands down, pick up a rat. Make sure you have heavy stuff on it because ratfish are mean as hell. So I like 3X hooks. These are size 1 FT, ST56s. Um, whatever you can do, try to get heavy, heavy rings, heavy hooks, and be ready for big fish. And I said in my rat theory, when they'll eat these things, they know what they're doing, especially big fish. They've been doing it for years. So a lot of times they'll latch onto it and shake it like a shark. Those fish, you really want to drive the hook home, but it's violent. And sometimes it'll throw you off. It scares, it'll scare you. Um, well, it scares me sometimes. It just comes out of nowhere and they're just trying to rip the rod out of your hands. So um, you really just got to hold on and put the screws to them because uh, they're trying to kill this thing. I mean, they have claws and teeth and rats aren't nice either. But bass are usually meaner. So they get them back in those crushers and I think... They get in the crushers and they're able to suffocate that thing before they put it in its belly and chew its way out. Um, so I really prefer the big rat, but if they're not going for it, I'll always switch to this. I have both because sometimes they just want that little more profile. I think larger fish are individuals, um, and sometimes one eight, eight plus pounder might prefer this rat, and the next one might want the bigger one. So, But in the springtime, when the big fish are up, I think... Um, you really are missing the boat, like straight up, if you're not throwing rats. As soon as the water's over 53, I get wake bites on lakes or on the river. So I know it's early for some guys to throw it, but cold water waking and cold water hard baits will cast some really, really big fish. And just because you don't see, if you ever notice, like, you know, you'll see a lot of stuff. If a bait catches a lot of big fish, you'll see it. And then sometimes you wonder about baits. You never see anything and it could be because they're junk but it could be because people don't want to show you what they're catching and I've been lucky enough to have some guys show me some really just gigantic early season wake fish so my and uh, big hard bait fish I should say because they're not only waking so my choice during the spring is the rodents because the fish are aggressive they're feeding their the rodents are just coming out and they really seem to crush them so uh, Steve P I can't pronounce his last name. He wrote an article a long time ago on, it seems like that, on Swim Bait Nation, and that was a website. And it was about wake baits. Um, and it was, I think there was a little line in there about sometimes when there's no wind, he'll just run around and throw a dart head. But as soon as the wind picks up, he knows that that, that wake bite will turn on. I think earlier, early in the year, I think that's subjective. I, I've really caught them. I think there has to be cloud cover, um, some type of, of cover. I think muddy water almost is like cloud cover. So if I have anything but clear, flat, bluebird days, I'm going to wake. That article, I wish I would have saved it. That was a great article about wake baits. Um, and, and wind can be your friend. In the springtime, when there's a chop on the water and you have what, like a storm's coming in, there's nothing better to throw than a big rat, in my opinion. I mean, there's just really not. In the spring, you get those warm systems that come up and blow from the south. Uh, you get clouds. It's not freezing. Um, you get rain. 
the the rodents come out everything's active i think it's i really just honestly can't preach enough about throwing these baits early in the year to catch the biggest fish that you might see all year i honestly believe that um so i i target anywhere where the, where the rats are i keep saying that it seems obvious but i get a lot of questions about where are you throw in these baits and how do i apply these baits you know why ain't Am I not getting bites? Um, I don't know. If you're fishing an area where there's no bluegill and you're fishing a bluegill bait, that could be your problem. I mean, honestly, it, it, I know you don't. You can't have a bait for every situation. A lot of guys don't, and they're expensive lures. Um, but but you really need to think about where you're going to apply these techniques to fool a large fish. Because I mean, they always win. <laughs> I never catch them. They're smarter than smarter than I, 99% of the time, and a lot of other guys too. But there's some guys that just crush them. Cause, it's because they have their number and they know when to present baits properly to fool these fish into eating. Um, and I think your best percentage for a giant fish on a rat is going to be in the spring. So, I mean, as I move into post spawn and summer. This is my number one bait. I crank this down and I'll slow wake my big rat, like a large Nazuma or XL Nazuma, in the morning super early. But I've never caught any really big ones doing that. In the summer, I'm throwing the smaller rat um, and I'm cranking it down. Um, I guess I do it the same way, but I do a lot of like pitching into pockets. This is my go to. If they're following these other hard baits, this rat can trigger them. I've told that to other people. It's not just me. And they said, oh man, I, I'm getting these fish to fall on the bait in. I don't know how to trigger them. Water's real clear. I'm like, try throwing that rat. And they're like, no way. Because it honestly triggers bites. It, these are unbelievable baits when you use them to their full potential. So um, through summer, wake it. You know, apply it to your cover. I'm throwing this in the summer. You know, when I wake. Because I feel like... My bluegill is going to get bigger bites in the summer on the wake. But in your body of water, maybe this may draw out the alpha predator in the area. And this might be the better go-to. Um, I can only speak on my experience. Um, I'm not going to give advice on something that has not worked for me um, to an extent. you know. So, so and then into fall, um, I move away from the rat because I'm heavy into this. I still throw it in certain situations, especially docks wood overhanging cover I'm, I'm always going to have a rat ready to go it's always on my deck um winter time like i said uh only when it's sunny so when i'm throwing this rat i'll be throwing around this defiant same thing eight as the waking crank eight foot defiant heavy moderate or moderate fast um, i really like it as a 14 inch handle because i pitch my rat a lot tight to cover um you could also throw it on the Maverick. That one's 219. You could throw it on the Maverick 8-foot um, version of this. And this is, you're, you're only looking at 109. Same setup, just has uh, foam grips. I think the production models, we're going to have wind grips on these. This is my prototype uh, that I was testing. But um, this also works for the rats. as a more, a little softer of a bend. And I also use the Maverick 8-foot heavy fast. No moderate bend. Because it has a 30 ton, it bends a little deeper, but it has a faster action. So I'll switch that when I'm fishing it in really heavy cover. Because, like I said, they'll eat the they'll eat these so violently that I really want to drive the hook home. So I like that. I want all the backbone I can get. Um, and that's and with the 3x hooks, I'm not worried about bending out. Um, and with ratfish, I don't play because they're so mean. It seems like I just grind them in. That and that's worked for me. I mean, um, with those three. <laughs> But those three eight footers, you can fish any of your small treble baits, and uh, the eight foot fast is also great for weedless baits. So, uh, um, so, so my advice with rats is just uh, throw them as much as you can. Of course, crank them down. Use heavy hardware because the big fish will 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 straight up take your lunch money and punk you if you have light hardware and a big one eats a rat because they're so mean. Some of the bites will come up and grab this, like I've talked about, just uh, grabbing the rear treble, because I think it's like tails, and when they're small, they'll pull the rat down by its rear feet when a bass is, and they'll try to eat it head first. I think when they're babies, they just do it 
when they're messing with a rat, because they mess with everything that swims by. And they develop that um, rapport with rodents, and they learn how they react to, um, to stimulus. So by the time they're 8, 10 pounds, or if your fish are 6 to 7 pounds, uh, in your region, that's a big fish. They know what they're doing. They've seen it over and over. We're at the lake a tiny percentage of the time. They, you know, they're there all the time. They see stuff that we can't imagine happens. So, um, so, you know, make sure you're ready for these. Throw these in the spring. Reel them slow. Let the fish look at it in the spring, and get ready because you could, the the fish will will eat this like a glide bait. Like I mean, I, I say that because you see a lot of those videos, guys triggering fish next to the boat. Um, these fish will come up and just eat this. It's so natural. Or maybe it's because they don't see it a lot. On the crank down, that's why I get that reaction. Whatever it is, get on it. Straight up. And uh, get ready for some big bites. Because they do not play with these. And in the springtime, you want to catch some big sacks. I, it's, it's, uh, it's not even a question to me. So... Get rat baits, whoever rat bait you choose on um, swooping up, do whatever you can with it, put it tight to cover, crank it down, and throw it in the spring. You want to get confidence with big rat baits or big heart baits in general? Pick up a rat, a big rat, and throw it in the spring. Wake it, crank it down, vary the tail length, um, it, it'll change the action some. Um, I don't know if color matters. I throw this because it's a mink, that's what I'm imitating out here is mink. When I go to Clear Lake, I throw gray because I, one time I seen this crazy rat swimming in Clear Lake that was gray and it was like swimming in an S. Amazing, like, it was crazy to see, but so up there, gray seems to work. Um, so try different colors so you find what's effective and get a rat bait in your hands, especially earlier in the year when some guys are throwing other stuff and they move to the rats in the summer, throw these in the spring. And watch the toads that come out. You'll, you will be blown away by the large fish that come out and eat rats or even just show themselves trying to figure out what it is. So um, fish the largest rat you can and uh, get ready. So thanks for checking me out. Toxin Baits Micro Mink coming soon with the new web store and new website. Um, throw it on these fiber light rods if you can. They're bad. You know, they're badass. Basically, 109 to 129, you can't go wrong. 30 ton, 40 ton graphite. Um, I'm a true believer in these baits. So, oh, same thing. 5, 3 to 1. I think it's important with these baits. These lip baits. Going on a 5, 3 to 1 reel. The heaviest line you can get away with. Um, thanks for checking me out.